Hey, welcome back to Frank's Model Works. I'm Frank. Who else would I be? This is a YouTube channel shot in the basement of a house in Long Island, New York. Hey, welcome back to Frank's Model Works. I'm Morris. Anyway, it's a big week. I have the final update before completion of the Mustang 60 Group Build 2010 Mustang GT. Sponsored by Scale Speedworks. Really excited to get that one across the finish line. I received three shop cards in the mail so far this week. I'm going to go over them in a, in a little while. And then afterwards, we're going to look at my next project. And keep in mind, I am doing Mustangs this year. So we're going to take a look at what my next project's going to be. And I'm going to ask for your input on the paint color choice. So let's just get started. And here it is, the Mustang 60 2010 Mustang GT, nearly completed, just awaiting final assembly. Um, here we have that interior, with the red leather, white stripes, the detail on the dashboard and infotainment system is all in. The engine detail, got the cam covers in the nice metallic blue, some black and silver in there just to add a little variation. And then the underneath, the undercarriage, we have that reflect the, the uh, anti anti corrosion um, coating that's made up of a little bit of XF24 dark gray. And a little bit of XF4 green-yellow. Is that the name of it? Yellow-green. XF4 yellow-green. Where are you? There you are. From Tamiya. Mix that with a little XF24 dark gray. And get that color. I think I threw in a little bit of titanium gold. In order to get a slight metallic sheen to it. Um, so I like the way that looks. The wheels were painted in Splash Paints Gunmetal, and I painted the chrome accents on it with this stuff right here. It's called Mira by uh, Stuart Semple. Um, it's it's like an enamel. It it comes out looking like Molotow, but Molotow is an ink. This is more like an enamel. It dry. It takes. It, you know. It's not like it dries like lacquer. It takes a little while, but it does eventually dry, and, and it's more able to be handled than Molotow is. The only problem is it's hideously expensive. I'll put a link to it down uh, in the description, but I think this these this can because this is a metallic can. This was like thirty eight bucks. It lasts. I've had this for, I would say, going on three years, and I'm not even halfway through. But it is hideously expensive. But I have it, so I might as well use it. I don't know if I'll buy any more. The body. And this is the reason why I'm wearing gloves, because... My fingers are 84.6% bacon grease. And for whatever reason, whenever I touch something, I not only get fingerprints on it, but my body heat like burns them in. So, But that Kona Blue, I think, came out pretty well. It's got dust all over it, like I said. Whenever you dust your house or vacuum your house, everything in your house comes to my basement. Whoever it is that's watching. All dust winds up here. And mostly on my models. The Kona Blue came out nice. I like the way it looks. It's like a deep metallic blue. Um, when I'm when I have better lighting and I take better pictures, it should show more. Uh, managed to get the surrounds on the glass done about three hours after Angelo from Angelo's Workbench released a video on his how he does it, and I get it. Uh, he, he masks it off and, and sprays it. The problem with that is I my hands shake 
like a puppy poop in a peach pit. So, and I can't believe I got that out in one try. My hands shake really, really bad, and taking a knife to clear plastic scares the hell out of me. So I'd rather just paint around on the inside with um, some Vallejo model color uh, 70.950 black. Put that on a wet palette, and I'll show you how a wet palette works in a future video. And just go around and get it on there as, as much as possible because then when you flip it over, the glass makes it look like gloss. So the silver stripe came out nice. I, I like the red accent. Um, it's the tail lights. And these had to be painted as well. The front marker with the headlights. I like that they, they, they gave the um, the Mustang as a separate piece in the grill. That made that made my life a lot easier. Uh, I would usually mess something that up horribly, but that was actually a really good idea. The kit itself goes together very well. It's a little fiddly here at the front getting the clip on, and it's it's a little nerve wracking. You can see like there's the joint right there. I had to put some CA glue, and I was worrying that it would it would frost out on the front, but it didn't, thankfully. So. Just have a couple more pieces to put on, which is going to happen immediately after I stop filming this clip and do the shop card shout outs. Um, and then it'll be ready for its April 17th reveal for Scale Speedworks Mustang 60 group build. So stay tuned for that. Now on to shop cards. Okay, on to shop cards. Got a couple in the mail this week, actually three in the mail this week. Um, as they come in, I'll do shop card shout outs. Uh, as always, I really appreciate just the, uh, the general atmosphere of kindness and generosity that, that permeates the model building community on YouTube. It really is, it's amazing. Uh, first up, we have Big Charlie's Model Garage. Charlie is an outstanding modeler, and he's just finished putting in a really nice uh, setup with a California air compressor and a nice uh, spray booth. Very important. Get those fumes out of out of the house. Uh, Charlie, I really appreciate all the all the content you provide. You're doing a really good job. I appreciate you reaching out, and I look forward to. The future, whatever it may hold. Um, looking forward to your content. Thanks again for the card, and I appreciate it. Next up, we have Jess, the Scale Model Snail. If you're following along on Jess's channel, and you really should, she's really lucky in that she's she's in the process of uh, making herself a, a she shed out in the yard. I wish I had a she shed. Instead, I got a dank corner of a basement. But if you if you check out her channel, and you should, you should go over there and subscribe. Uh, Jess is really into the more artistic side of modeling, uh, as you can see by the shop card. Uh, she's very very talented. Um, really, a lot of skill involved, a lot of creativity involved in the in the things that she builds. Thanks a lot, Jess. I appreciate it. Um, and I look forward to seeing that she shed done. Hope you and your husband have a good time building it. And uh, whenever uh, my wife and I do any type of uh, construction projects, I get smacked around usually. But I deserve it. So again, Jess, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And finally, for the shop cards, we have my friend Joe down in Orlando. Joe's uh, Joe's one of my paisans. He's originally, as he told me, he's originally from Brooklyn. Uh, then he moved out to Lynbrook, which is in Nassau County in Long Island. Uh, I, I actually live in Long Island now. I'm originally from New York City as well. I'm from Queens, though, neighborhood of Ridgewood. Um, 
Joe and I clicked right away. Once we became aware of each other and he subscribed to my channel, uh, he was actually sent over by Raul at uh, the Muscle Car Modeler. And he, he took the time to make uh, a, a video uh, shouting out my channel. And I really appreciate that, Joe. You're a good guy. The world needs more good guys like, like Joe. Again, I appreciate the shout-outs. Uh, he, he also did a shop card shout-out when he received my shop card, and I really appreciate that. So, Joe, thank you very much for the card. Actually, all he is, thank you very much for your cards. As they roll in, I'm going to make sure that I do the right thing and give shout-outs to all the people that are, that are giving me the support this early on in my YouTube career. I really appreciate it. You guys are an inspiration. And hopefully I live up to the nice things that you're saying about me. All right, next up, we're going to take a look at what I'll be working on next. All right, so this is going to be the next build. I just did a newer Mustang, so I'm going back to do an older Mustang. Uh, and as I said, this is going to be the year of Mustangs for me. But that doesn't mean that the only content you're going to see on here is Mustangs. I am going to be doing standalone videos of my previous builds that I still have. Uh, describing how I how I built them, what the motivations were behind them. So don't, don't think that this is just going to be a Mustang channel. Uh, it's not going to be. But as far as this is concerned, I'm not really deeply invested in the Diamonds Off Forever, the 007 movie. So I'm not really... I'm not really married to doing this car the way it comes out of the box uh, or in this color scheme. Uh, this one I am gonna I am gonna wire and plumb, try to try to show some uh, some of the techniques that I use in order to accomplish that. As far as the color goes, uh, I just I just finished the Kona Blue Mustang, the 2010. And I have grab a blue, and I have this, like, it's like a light pastel blue. I'm not going to do the grab a blue because, and I'm not going to do this one either. Because I, I just literally did a blue car. And I want to do them back to back. And the same would be true because the car that I finished before the Kona Blue Mustang was the... Uh, Bullet Mustang, the 68 Mustang GT from the movie Bullet, and that one was a dark Highland green. Um, so, this is lime gold, which is a greenish color, so I'm probably not going to be using this one. Uh, we'll pass that on that. As far as grabber colors, I have grabber yellow, I'm just not in the mood to do a grabber. Uh, a yellow paint scheme right now uh, for no other reason I'm just not feeling it I do have grab a lime and grab a green grab a lime when when you search for grab a green on the internet for a 1971 Mach 1 the first results you're gonna see are cars that are actually grab a lime so often mislabeled I'm not really a big fan of the color Maybe somewhere down the line, I'll uh, I'll paint one in this color, but I'm I'm just not feeling it for this build. But I think grab a green is going to stay in contention. Next up would be Calypso Coral, which is a very warm red, almost an orange. I do have an orange uh, 446 pack that I completed not too long ago, and I have a 68 Malibu convertible that I completed back in October for my friend. So I'm a little oranged out. This is actually the, the atom atomic orange that I used. Um, I'm a little oranged out right now. So I'm going to pass on the Calypso Coral. Final contender. Vying for your vote. And what color we're going to paint this car? Is it going to be light pewter, which is a warmish medium silver, or grab a green? Uh, I'm going to do some research 
make sure that it was a factory option to have either of these colors with the rocker panels painted black. I'm going to make sure I'm not... They, in the kit, it comes with as decals to do the rocker panels. I'm not doing that. And I'll show you why when I get into the kit. Um, well, I'll just tell you now. The, the rocker panel decals, I already looked at them. They were already stained and miscolored. Uh, discolored, I mean. It's 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 not a good look, and I, I don't feel like dealing with it when I could probably just paint it. So I'll I'll do some research, make sure that it's either a, gl a gloss black or a, a semi-gloss black, and whether or not these two paint colors were available in that paint option. Because the kit itself doesn't have any Mach 1 stripes. It, it just... Uh, it just comes with the decals to make this color scheme. So, let me know down in the comments. These are your choices. Grab a green, light pewter. Okay? And then we'll get started on that uh, in about a week. And that's it for that. We'll go back, I'll put you on the tripod, and we'll sum up. So it's been an exciting week. I did manage to fi finish the Mustang GT in Kona Blow. It's right over there in that display case. I could show it to you, but I don't want Mike from Scale Speedworks to come to my house and slap me around for violating group build rules. Those are sacred. I do want your input on the 1971 Mach 1 Mustang, as far as what color we're going to paint that. I'm interested in, hear your th in hearing your thoughts. And also, you guys should check out my shorts. You heard me. You know what I mean. The little short videos that, you know, they're like a minute long. It's my old builds. Just, just look at them. Get your mind out of the gutter. Anyway, thanks again to Jessica, to Charlie... And to Joe for sending me their shop cards. If you want to trade shop cards with me, that information is going to be down in the description. I look forward to hearing from you folks. And again, I want to express my gratitude to all of you for stopping by and checking out my channel. Until we speak again, my friends, take care of yourselves. Be well.